Hi, my name is Daniela and welcome to my channel. This is gonna be my first YouTube video and I wanted to make it so that I can introduce myself and share my story with an eating disorder just to help other people see how it feels like and what I had to deal with and how I recover from it. So I was born and raised in Bogota, Colombia and Growing up, I had an amazing childhood. I lived with both of my parents and my brother, as well as my dog. I have a lot of friends. I play a ton of sports. I really enjoyed being active. I found like a really good passion for soccer. So I started to play soccer at school and I was extremely happy with it. By the beginning of 2014, I started comparing myself with my friends a lot. So they were all like skinnier or prettier than me. They were starting to date with guys and it really made me feel like less. And it made me have the feeling that I had to change my body somehow. I decided that enough was enough and that I really needed to change something in my body because I was actually trying before to change it but I didn't find a good way to do it. I will try laxatives, I will try not to eat for a day but then the other day I will literally binge on everything and just purge. So that was like a cycle that I repeated for a long time and I was like tired of not seeing the results that I wanted to. So I told my mom to help me to eat better and just to make better decisions and to exercise, like to push me to exercise, like to help me get motivated. So that's what she did. She helped me a lot, but she did it in a good way. So she will like help me reduce my portion sizes and help me like eat healthier so she will cook for me healthier meals. I started the gym and the only thing that I thought I was good at was like cardio so that's what I did and it was like intimidating to see the weight lifting sessions and just all the guys in there and I really believe that cardio was the solution so I started uh, doing like about one hour to two hours of pure cardio and some ups every single day. I went every single day for summer and when I came back from school my friends were telling me oh my god like you lost weight and you look pretty. I start feeling really good about it. I just thought that I did it and that I was finally getting the results that I wanted so that I was doing everything right. I was at school from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. and then I had to do a ton of homework so I couldn't just go to the gym so I decided it was time to reduce my food intake again because I wasn't being that active. So I felt the need to start restricting some of the things that I was eating. And if I would eat something that wasn't on my plan, I would feel so guilty. By September, all my friends started to realize that I was losing more weight. I looked sad and pale and they were just very concerned about my health and I always told them that I was okay, that I was just eating healthier. I was low in energy. I was very sad all the time. I couldn't stop thinking about food and I couldn't concentrate anymore. I wouldn't have the energy to even play soccer anymore like I even stopped hanging out with my friends because I was scared of food so my mom um, realized that all of this was getting out of my hands so she decided to take me to a dietitian and I went there they told me I was underweight and I needed to start gaining weight and eating better 
So that's exactly what I did. Like at that time, I had no idea I had an eating disorder. I just thought that I was okay. And I was just trying to live better and eat healthier and be active and all of that. So my dietitian gave me a meal plan and I started following it. My mom was helping me a lot. So she will stay with me at home and make me breakfast, lunch and dinner. And I would eat with her and everything was getting better. Months passed by and my mom really thought that I was getting better. So she just stopped being so strict with me and she just let me be with my freedom and with what I wanted to eat every day. That's when I started to lose weight again. I just thought that I was already weight restored and that I didn't need as much food as before. I was thinking about food again all the time. When my mom realized that I was losing weight again, she took me to the doctor. They diagnosed me with anorexia. That's the first time that I saw the name of the illness on a piece of paper with my name too. And that's when I realized it was serious. The doctor told my mom that my heart was suffering a lot and that I had bradycardia, which means that my heart rate was extremely slow. It was very bad for my health. And that's when I started to implement uh, supplements to start gaining weight. I started taking two insurance a day and my mom was just recently being um, hospitalized for a knee injury so I was with her at home all day she helped me a lot and started getting better again and everything seemed to be right so I was very happy with that my mom was happy with my progress and yeah in the beginning of 2016 we moved to the US and it was an extreme change for me and my family it was so hard for me because I started to go to high school but I couldn't find any friends in there my family started to work all day and I was by myself all day <laughs> I started to pack my lunch for school but again just like being extremely lonely left me with a ton of sadness I found again relief into changing my body and controlling my food i started to throw away food it was miserable i just really wanted to eat at that time but my head was just so loud and i just couldn't do it and i didn't have any help i wouldn't talk to anybody. My depression was starting to really creep on me. I felt hopeless and I felt like I couldn't do it. One day my parents took me to the emergency room because they were really concerned about my health. I didn't even refuse to go. I didn't say anything. I just let them take me. They really needed help. So we went to the emergency room and they got me hospitalized that same day and I spent there like a month. They did put me an NG tooth which is a tooth that goes through your nose and feeds you. So I will get insurance uh, through my nose and I will have to eat the food that they will give me. I was also in bed rest and I couldn't even like go to the bathroom without a nurse or I can take a shower for more than 10 minutes. I got out of the hospital and uh, I was weight restored, kind of. I gained a lot of weight, but I was not there yet. So my dietitian from the hospital gave me a meal plan to follow at home. I didn't wanna follow it I feel bad about it I lost weight again and it was something that I just couldn't control anymore 
A year passed by, I was losing weight again very slowly and by the end of the year, I was again at the hospital. That year, I think was the worst because I had a ton of fights with my family. My jeans wouldn't fit at all, none of them. Whenever I would go and buy some clothes, I would feel so bad because nothing fit. I really wanted to get better. And I would tell myself, I will get better. But when the situation of eating was in front of me, I just, I just couldn't do it. Like it was like an extreme fear of weight gain, of the unknown, of letting go. I was miserable. I literally was walking all day, even if my feet will hurt so badly, I would just continue. And every single night, I'll cry because I was so tired. I was so tired and I really wanted to rest. I felt like I was too lazy. I just couldn't eat something that was out of the plan. I wouldn't go out with anyone. I wouldn't talk to anyone. It was all day thinking about food, exercise, and how to lose weight how to be a skinnier, how to not gain weight. And it was the worst, the worst period of my life. One day I decided the best for me was to go to the hospital again. I called my dietitian from the hospital and I told her that I was going to go there for a couple of days to see what they can do because I couldn't do it by myself. I was there for about two to three weeks but they literally told me they couldn't do anything for me because they are like a medical hospital i was taking somebody else's bed and i wasn't eating the things that they were telling me to eat my dietitian will send me something that was out of my comfort zone and i just couldn't do it I started to hide the food, I started to exercise in the bathroom, I was doing everything wrong. It was just like I didn't want to get better. I was sent home and the first week I realized that my life was awful, <laughs> that it was all because of me. I started to think about my future and it really didn't look like it was gonna be better because if I kept doing the things that I was doing I was just gonna be a 40 year old woman lonely, anorexic, exercising all day with no friends, no family because they will all get tired so I started looking for a ton of treatments and they were all extremely expensive and as I don't have any insurance or money to pay for it I just couldn't afford it I was feeling so hopeless one day I found a clinic in New York that was offering free treatment in exchange of them being able to do some research on me and on my mind so the deal was that I had to help them uh, dig into an eating disorder mind uh, so that they can do more research about it and help some other girls in the future and they will provide me with free treatment. I read the guidelines and they were, I had to eat like 4,000 calories in total a day I was going to be like locked in a facility with other girls and I had to be like a minimum of like three months in there. So I was really scared. I had an interview on the phone. I was waiting for them to say yes and like six days after my first call, I had a call saying that I was 
admitted to the program my family and I decided to drive to New York and by the next day we arrived there I was already at the hospital I can't imagine my family and how my parents felt like to just leave their little girl in a clinic with nobody that they knew they don't even speak English I was in the clinic for about four to five months November through April it was honestly the best decision I could ever take the girls that I met in there finally understood how I felt and we will cry together we will play a ton of board games and we will also watch Netflix at night we were 24 7 together I met mm, a lot of beautiful girls that I'm still friends with and I was so blessed to be able to meet them and meet the nurses and the doctors that they all helped me a ton and I can say that they literally saved my life when I came back home I cried a lot because <laughs> I didn't want to leave my friends because since coming to the US I was finally able to smile and laugh and as much as I didn't want to leave I knew that I had to for my own health and to just continue with my life I'm still friends with a lot of those girls I came home and the first few weeks after my treatment I started to eat right as my meal plan said but I was getting too attached to it and uh, I left treatment eating like 3,000 calories and I just felt like it was a lot for me and I didn't have to gain weight anymore so I didn't want to gain more weight so I started to drop the calories again and it was like the biggest mistake ever I started to lose weight again slowly and I didn't realize until my mom would tell me and I couldn't believe her I lost most of the weight that I gained at treatment and my family was starting to get very concerned again so one night I really think it was God who talked to me in my dreams and I realized that the only thing that could help me was myself that I really had to do things right that I couldn't just be talking and asking other girls how they did it how they are able to eat or exercise in balance and I just decided that I had to make that decision for myself that in treatment at, at the clinic it was easy because I was being watched 24 7 I was having to complete all my meals and the nurses were there to make sure I didn't hide any food but when it came to my house that's when I had to take the difficult decision to do it for myself without anybody looking at me I found a way to do it and I'm not saying this is something that every girl dealing with a with an eating disorder has to do but that's the way that I found that helped me a ton in my recovery I started to um, implement the macros in my life it really helped me a lot to realize that my body needed all of them I started with a trainer with a coach and it was extremely helpful because she helped me to increase my calories increase my macros and I'll feel like I had to complete them and it will make me feel some kind of satisfaction that I was doing things right and I was learning how to eat better and how to eat in balance with all the three micronutrients to make sure I was fueling myself right after two months I stopped seeing my coach because I didn't have the money to pay for it anymore so I started to do it by myself and I just found a passion for fitness that 
I just can't even explain it. I now feel better. I eat a lot better. I just have a lot of energy and my thoughts are not into losing weight anymore. I think about food when I have to, when I'm hungry, when I know that it's meal time. But other than that, I found myself with other hobbies and I don't know, I feel like now I'm happier now I can do things that I couldn't do before and my overall mood is just better I am able to go out with my family I'm able to exercise in a balanced way and I know that I still have a long way to go and I'm not saying I am 100% recovered I learned a lot and I just want to continue to learn and I just want to help everyone else that needs to hear that recovery is possible and that it may look different for everyone but at the end it's worth it and I really hope that this video help you in some way thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I'm going to be posting more videos more often and I'm thinking about my next video already and I'm extremely excited. So thank you guys. Bye.